This is the man who recommended the veto, <laughs> and if you watch the last video, this is the man we're going to blame when it all goes tits up. Yeah, right? when you're okay. stuck in a dark desert. You, you've got it. You've got it. <laughs> Here we are on uh, Hythe Pier. It's a slightly breezy day, but it's quite nice. It's quite a nice September afternoon. And if we look over here, we have Hythe Garage. And there's our van. Yeah. Good van. Bad van. This is Hyde Garage. The guys had a fire here back in July. Lost their main premises and they're working out of this small building temporarily. And uh, I think they're going to move over to a building which is uh, just to that garage there. So just setting up new facilities there. They're not going to rebuild, but there was a fire here. Anyhow, let's go over there and see um, how we're going to get this service done. Look at this foul, disgusting thing here. Oh, it's dreadful, isn't it? It's a nice colour, but... Just be frank to scratch it, wouldn't you? It's no fun at all. Don't know what year it is, but it's the Vito Sport X 204. The worst Vito in the world. Yeah. Got a cracked timing case cover has broken a couple of teeth off the timing gear. Got a cracked timing case cover has broken a couple of teeth off the timing gear. The radiator's damaged at the core. The radiator's damaged at the core. Got a cracked water pump. It's got a cracked water pump. And a fractured injector line. It's got a fractured injector line. <laughs> well, what does all that mean? Yeah, okay, but what does that mean? What does that mean? 24 hours. 24 hours? They've got 12. You've got 12! Okay. okay.
Kick it in the guts, Barry. He's the last bit of V8! You can shut the gate on this one, Maxie. It's the duck's guts. Yeah, he's the last bit of V8. <laughs> Nitro! <laughs> Phase 4 head! Tell him about the blower! Man. 600 horsepower! It's the blower! Lead. The blower, man! He made the the music and the bitches want to run! He's in a coma, man! He loves it! <laughs> get all this together. <laughs> I'm very upset. I disagree with him. I disagree with him too, to be honest. Good, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I just wanted it official because he's going to watch <laughs> this. So yeah, this no, I'll... Solenoid rage. You ready? Yeah, go on, give it a clap. So, um, let's uh, show you what the nature of the issue is. Uh, I've uh, had this started and restarted. I'm going to go into the internet this morning, and here we go. You turn the key, you know, the lights come on as normal, and here we have it starting. You can, you can hear it starting. The other issue yeah, is, is that when we left yesterday, left the Garrett Hyde garage, the guys seem to have concluded that it was uh, a new starter motor, that it all came down after them fiddling around a while, it had to be the starter motor. So as soon as I got back, I rather impulsively ordered a second-hand starter motor on eBay. Um, it could arrive here possibly today. Keep an eye out for the postman there. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's see, a moment. Let's switch it off. Switch it back on. And it's decided to start again. So it's decided to become reliable. But half an hour ago, um, it took me ages and ages switching and re-switching 20, 30 times before the engine decided to um, restart. Let's see if we can get it to demonstrate that fault. Switch it on. And nothing. And then it starts. Switch it off. Switch it on. And it starts. Switch it off. Switch it on. And nothing. Switch it off. Switch it on. Nothing. Switch it off. Switch it on. Nothing. And I'll just keep doing this. Watch. And there's the nature of the problem. Um, it's intermittent. Uh, it doesn't seem to follow any kind of pattern. 
and um, if I wasn't so amused by it, I'd be probably extremely irritated. But there's still a chance for me to get irritated by it. But this is the thing with getting ready for Banjul. It's sorting out these kind of problems now, while we've got lots of time to work it out and to make sure that we're not faced with these kind of problems in the middle of the desert uh, when we're on our own. So um, I'll um, maybe make a start on fiddling around with these in a moment. Let's just try it one more time. And it starts. Turn it off. Turn it on. And nothing. Turn it off. Turn it on. And nothing. Okay. So uh, here we are at the Vito, and um, to uh, after our starter motor debacle, uh, it would be nice to end this video on a bit of an upbeat. So here we are with our tufty bit of grass. It's going to be rescued from here. Okay. And what do you think we should do with it, Angela? I think we should carefully surgery, like take it out and plant it into little pots yes. and preserve it and bring some down to Africa. So take some to Banjul with us? I think so, yeah. yeah. And plant it somewhere in Banjul. I don't know how Okay, this is not a very good job, but given that it's grass yeah. and gets so much love and attention, it should be fine. Okay, okay so. Alright. I think. Here we are. Hey! Look out for the next episode, folks. Okay.